So, welcome back to episode 3 of uh, our Shadow Hearts Let's Play. Um, let's get back to reading out the uh, dialogue, shall we? After this little bit. <coughs> so, we're still in the creepy cannibal village. It's like a... <coughs> Oh, that wasn't very good. Yes, this is what was left after the, the human demons devoured the humans. Be careful. I think they mean business this time. Yeah, so anyway, we're still running around this um, cannibal village. This, this bit does get slightly annoying, actually, because it makes you go up and down the village um, two or three times. It's a very short um, section of the game. Um, in terms of screens, only two or three, but <coughs> they have you traipsing backwards and forwards, um, searching for the, um, the the boss. <coughs> um, we will be recruiting another new character in a minute, which uh, increases the interest level significantly, but. Uh, <coughs> I don't know whether it will be this episode actually that we uh, we come across um, the next character. I think we will. More random battles. There's these weird sort of half baby, half um, snail things, uh, and a monkey looking dog. Alice just got chewed on. Green flyer, they're called. They don't seem to be doing much flying, though. They do look pretty disgusting. Um. <coughs> I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to go th through the game and do all the side quests or um, just focus on the main parts of the game <coughs> and go for the normal or bad ending because actually the the bad ending is the, the true one. Um, if you go through all the effort of getting the, the good ending then that's disregarded in Shadow Hearts Covenant anyway, which is a bit of a shame. But, um... <coughs> I have completed the game twice before, and, and the first time I, I did do everything and get the good ending, and the second time I just went for the bad ending. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen the good ending and done the side quests, so I'm quite tempted to do that. I think we might uh, at least do some of it. So that <coughs> icon that, <coughs> that just flashed up there was signifying that um, our malice level has increased. Uh, it's not really anything to worry about at this stage. Um, but uh, going back to the graveyard and defeating another enemy will reset that. But like I say, uh, until that malice meter turns red, then you're not really in danger of being attacked by Foxface, which is Yuri's dad, of course. <coughs> anyway, let's get back to the story. Because all of this is the will of the great Yamaraja, protector of our village. Yamaraja? Come on. I could take care of him but just by destroying the shrine back there. Take a good look. These are the bones of all I've sacrificed to him. I used the malice of the townspeople and made this fence to keep one and all away from here. As long as I'm alive, this fence will protect Yamaraja. Because without killing me, you can't get near the shrine. So I was right after all. You are the one to get. Ah, yeah, yeah. First, you'll have to catch me. Poof, and I'm gone. <coughs> Where'd the demon cat go? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have to wander aim aimlessly through this village forever. Wither and die in this village where morning never comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it, I'll skin your hide. Where did she run away to? I don't think that cat did Oh. Yeah, she must be somewhere in the village. Let's find her. Didn't have time to read Alice's dialogue there, but uh, never mind. <coughs> No, I'm pretty sure that we will get the extra character this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't get eaten by uh, underlings yet. You're a tough cookie. Poof. to uh, slap some more demon baby things around and some zombies you can't go wrong with a good old fashioned zombie can you nope. these guys can poison you which means um, <coughs> well you know what it means and uh, yeah so they're quite annoying and you really want to get rid of them first well they're not not that tough and um Yuri, more often than not, doesn't seem to be affected by status ailments like poison. I, I guess it's because he's got high resistance to stuff like that. <coughs> Smack that zombie. There we, there we go. And, and he's going to kick the crap out of that thing. Zombie's gonna have a go at Alice. Oops. So in a little while we also meet a character um, who can uh, upgrade our weapons, namely um, in increase the um, hit area on the judgment ring and also that the, the damage that it does. <coughs> This character is an acupuncturist, and um, it's a bit of a strange character. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, there's, damn it! You're not going to get away this time. <coughs> yuck, yuck, yuck! Don't think it'll be easy if just to give up and let us eat you. Poof. <coughs> At this rate, it's just the same thing over and over. I'm not getting anywhere. That's exactly what I was thinking at this point. But uh, you are getting somewhere if you're doing all this. So, ah, uh, uh, here we is. Um, Wan Wanderer Mayhorn. Mei that's the acupuncturist. And this other guy is uh, the next character that we're going to recruit. Aha! This is the re reverse seal of Jianfeng, all right. The mark of Dehuai. But he was supposed to have lost his powers 15 years ago. Surely it can't be that he's... Who's that with you? An elder munchkin? Well, well. Still people here, eh? <coughs> Stand aside. Huh? It won't open. Unfortunately, you won't be able to leave. See this? <coughs> What's that? You mean that wind of heaven business you were talking about? In this country's language, it means you can't leave, right? Yep, that's about the size of it. Excuse me, but how did you men get in here? Through here, we just pushed the gate open. It would appear that anyone is free to enter. We got in, but it looks like we can't go back out. Oh, I hate this, I hate it. <coughs> I see. Uh, 
And you are? Ha ha ha, you want to know who I am? I am the true ruler of the Nine Heavens, the absolute sage, Zuzen. Master Zuzen, among exorcists and spirit healers, I am quite well known. There are many adepts in the world, but only I will do that kind of work by the hour or day. I was hired by the elders in the neighbouring village to come and investigate this place tonight. An adept for hire by the day, that's quite unusual. This guy's weird alright, but he's invaluable to me for all the great jobs he brings in. But wait, handsome, don't you want to know who I am? Hey, 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 lay off, that's how you scare customers away. Sorry about that, kid. This fellow here is a top-notch top acupuncturist. <clears throat> Even brand new weapons feel like they've been yours for ten years once he's worked on them. The only problem is, you have to put up with certain predilections he has. He's right, I can't fight, but you'll love the way I assist. <clears throat> do you do any other acts besides an odd couple? Let's hit it, Alice. We can find our own way out. Now hold on a second, kid. You too, honey. I'm Yuri, and this is Alice. What is it now, Pops? I admire your spirit, kid. No matter how much you walk, you'll never get out of this village the way you're going. What's that supposed to mean? <coughs> That's because of this mysterious mark here, isn't it, Mr. Zuzen? Aha, she's a smart one, exactly. The seal's power separates the village from the outside world. The seal itself is just like the lid on a pot, but this one has a lock that needs to be opened. How can we open that lock? What do we do to break the seal? That's right, you get the idea. Now listen carefully, both of you. <coughs> Someone in this village must be the key to this seal. You must find and defeat that person. Well, as they say, the journey is the destination, so I'm coming along to see how I can help out. What a pain. I'm no good at fighting. I'll stay here and dodge monsters till you get back. If you want to get the most of a, out of a new weapon, come and see me any time. I'll show you its true power. Here we're going to improve our weapons. Leather gloves. Attack power and hit area. So, yeah. do for now. <coughs> and I come back here later when I've got a bit more money to improve um, Alice's weapon as well. Well, well what is this smell? Is she bothered? She isn't acting the same as before. Is it because of Pops? <coughs> so off we go, traipsing back through the village again. And we've got more monsters, but we've got our new character. Zuzen's pretty cool, actually. <coughs> He's got higher hit points than... Um, Alice, and his main role is uh, offensive magic. If I recall 
correctly, there are three more recruitable characters throughout the game, one of whom is optional. Um, we get the next one not far, too far into the game actually. Soul energy. <clears throat> At some point, I might need to grind for soul energy so that all of the um, all of the summons for level one are earned. I'm just off to the graveyard to purge the. Uh, the malice to stop it from building up too high. These fights are no problem at all really. Although you should really heal up first. I neglected to do that on this one and nearly paid the price for it. But luckily, it wasn't the death of me. And it's a good job I managed to get that and didn't uh, didn't mess it up. It was a bit of an unnecessary risk. Kick the doggy, kick the doggy. So he hits pretty hard, but overall there's not much to it. <coughs> and there we go. Malice purged. And we also get an item for our troubles. A Kirin scale. Kirin scale uses hit area doubles. Indicator sweeps half speed. I think that's a one battle item. Once you use it, it's gone. So I'm going to save it for a while. It might be useful on a boss fight. On with dealing with that cat lady. Here she comes again. <laughs> Go away! Ha ha ha, so you're here again. You'll never leave. That is Yamaraz's decision. What you mean, Granny, is it's the decision of whoever's controlling Yamaraja from behind the scenes. Who are you? Hehehe, <laughs> I'm the ad adept hot, hired to exercise this village. So, are you ready to say, Uncle? Ha ha ha, you can even catch me. Why would I be afraid of you? Poof! Hey, we missed her again. No, I can still feel her presence. She's still hiding somewhere in this house. I guess it's time to reply to the secret formula for smoking out cat people. Do you have, have any idea what we should do? That I do. I suppose you know how cats take to catnip. I made it by mixing catnip with a special dye. Well, the, this is, here is something I called anti-cat powder. Man, these leaves really stink. You just carry these around? So that's what that funny smell was. 
Now I get it. That's why Granny hid herself. Right. She probably couldn't stand the thought of running into me and having to smell this odour again. It's actually a herbal remedy for stomach aches, but it spoke as a powerful effect on cat people. Simply carrying it is effective, but burn it and the power multiplies. Let's smoke her out. Oh, but to do that, we'll need a metal vessel and a torch. You need to go find those two things. When you bring them back, I'll burn the incense in this house. A metal vessel and a torch? Right. See what I mean? It's, it's now sending us off round the village yet again to get these two items. Talk about padding out a quest. <coughs> so... We're going the wrong way. They're both down the other end of the village. I haven't shown it off yet in the, any of these videos, but next time I record some more of this, I shall make sure to go into the uh, the menus and have a look at the stats thing because it it's uh, it's quite interesting actually. It uh, tells you how many what how what your percentage of perfect hits is on the uh, judgment ring and uh, gives you an overall rating as well as lots of other interesting stuff that it tells you so yeah Yuri's poisoned <coughs> no, it's not really a big deal uh, we've got a few mermaids tears so we might as well cure it Now Alice is confused. Uh, I believe in this instance she still attacks the enemy. Oh no, her confusion's been cured already because she got attacked. Yeah, if you get hit then the confusion's gone. But there is another battle somewhere where she d gets confused and still attacks the enemy. vessel. I thought it was, but it's not. He was very helpful. I thought maybe he sold the metal vessel because he was talking about it being in a shop, but he meant that it's outside of one of these shops. Just here. There. I'll get attacked before I get a chance to pick it up, but not to worry. We all know the drill now. These guys are easy. Unless you do that, of course. Another perfect. So the old wireless controller is really not causing any problems at all with the input lag or anything like that, which is good to see. <coughs> I think the judgment ring is a fun mechanic. Because it, it, make, it makes sure that you're concentrating on every battle and not just sort of mindlessly spamming attack like you can do in, um, in some RPGs. So wind is filling up nicely there. 
And once that's full, um, and there'll be another glowing gravestone. Yeah, there'll be another glowing gravestone, and that'll mean that I can go and earn a another uh, fusion soul. And here's the torch. And I think while I'm down here, I also upgrade um, Alice's uh, weapon. So now we're finally ready to take on Granny Mayor. And you'd think that would be the end of it, but no, there's Yamaraja to deal with after her. Which I think will probably be the next episode. Oh dear, messed that one up. We got to the point where they're dying in one hit now. Because we've levelled up a few times. And the Judgment Ring does return in all, all of the games in the Shadow Hearts trilogy, but um, they do change things up quite a bit in the second one. Uh, with the addition of a combo system, but uh, we'll get to that once when we actually play that game. Um, although it's still it's fairly simple, I still really enjoy the battle system in this first game. Uh, and as for the third one, I can't remember. I think it's probably got a variation of the same combo system from Covenant, but uh, I haven't really played a lot of it to uh, be able to tell you. So let's get another tent and save the game while we're here. Might as well. And a few thera leaves. Right, let's go and deal with this uh, cat woman. Oh, before that, I think I'm going to... Yeah, we're right close to levelling up again, so... One battle. Where, and then we'll be an extra level stronger. Might as well do that. Yay, that's the way to do it. So I'm consist fairly consistently getting perfects with Yuri. Not so much with the other guys yet. Yeah, the poison doesn't really seem to have a very high success rate, which is is fine, I suppose. I expect there'll be other enemies later on with a much higher 
um, rate of success. Overall, the difficulty level in this first game is not that high, as I, I think I've said before. They they do definitely increase the difficulty somewhat in in Covenant. So she's learned Holy Edge, which is the ability to imbue other characters' weapons with the the power of light, and the, the malice meter is already filling up again annoyingly but we don't need to worry about that just yet might as well carry on with the issue in hand which at the moment is this granny mare I have to set fire to this anti-cat powder Okay, I've gathered all the tools. Well, I guess I'll give it a go. Let's see. Put the anti-cat powder into the metal vessel and light it with the torch. <coughs> Whoa, now this stinks. Hack, hack. What is this, hack? I've got you now, old hag. You ready to be skinned, cat? Uh, how dare you? I'll show you all. We're all in big trouble now. So... Kind of a boss fight, though not really. Uh, you can tell when you're in a, pr in a proper boss fight because the music actually changes. This is still the regular music at the moment. Although she is slightly stronger than a regular enemy. I thought I'd try out this Holy Edge ability, although it doesn't really do a great deal in this battle. It would probably be very effective against zombies and the like. That's quite a nasty attack. Oh, and here's the first... Um, demonstration of his ogre flame dance a nice fire attack he earns quite a few spells over the course of the game although it's quite a while till he picks up the next one all the characters just earn abilities by leveling in this one apart from the fusions I guess uh, which is slightly different but uh, in the other games in the series, um, every character has their own sort of unique way of, of learning new abilities, which is pretty cool. Let's toast this kitty. So I'm not sure how close we are to the end of the uh, the battle in this episode shouldn't be too long to go oh we're going to transform might as well good old death emperor oh dear so I don't think she's got that much life left in her And I filled up her SP points, although that was a bit premature. You can leave it until you're on your last one, really, to to put them back. Because you're just wasting part of the item, healing item, if you do it too early. Uh, I believe this may be a kill screen coming up. If it's not this time, I think it'll be the next time round. Is she dead? Yep, she's dead. So, that um, nearly concludes this episode. So, um, one more, and then the, the opening uh, of this Let's Play is concluded. Although, I will be 
doing many more episodes of course so I'll see you next time <laughs>